update. Actually, I'm going to start calling this just model railroading updates. Uh, this is number one. I'm going to. S I'm considering replacing layout updates with this. Layout updates. I'll probably consider doing more in the future. But that'll just focus mostly just on the layout progress, part of the layout, like not equipment, not projects. Um, yeah, mostly scenery and stuff. So um, I'll get into this right now. This is my uh, HO scale McDonald's kit, um, scratch building project. These walls are just styrene uh, that's painted right here. Uh, if you follow me on, if you don't, well, look. If you don't, if you're in a community, uh, a couple of different communities, I think my uh, Model Railroaders and Google Plus community, and YouTube Model uh, Railroaders, I posted about this, both of those, um, using my main account on Google Plus, so you probably, some of you have seen this, but this is farther along than then, uh, here's the building, I need to add more of those, that's just styrene I cut out and glued on, this looks pretty good, that's um, sandpaper, glued on the styrene that's taped in here temporarily. The paint is just Krylon bright red. Um, so here's the drive through window, the other wall, the two end walls, and there's the other. Yeah, so that's it for this project. So right here is a River Aussie baggage car. Um, I painted it for BNSF. This is for their uh, executive train basically. This car, I believe I have seen it in real life. Um, once, when I was going to a Mariner's game with a friend of mine, um, I saw the executive train parked there. I really am still mad I didn't have my camera with me that day. It was 2012, I believe. I did have my camera, but I didn't bring it. But uh, this is Mount Baker. Uh, it was originally BNS number 77, which was originally uh, Ashton, Topeka, and Santa Fe, or just Santa Fe number uh, 77. And before that, it was a baggage car on the Santa Fe, and then they used it for their executive train in the 90s. But um, this is just a River Aussie car, as I said. I repainted it. I got it at a train show for, I think, 3 or $4. It needed new trucks. But I got two cars that were pretty much the same, so I used the trucks off the other one, which I'm making the Spirit of Washington dinner train power car, uh, which I'll show in the next video. Uh, not the next video I post, but the next update video. It's just pretty simple. This is Krylon gray paint with uh, decals printed on an inkjet printer using Tester's decal paper. Uh, there's Mount Baker, the name right there, BNSF, another BNSF logo, BNSF 52. It's exactly the same on the other side. Uh, just the standard River Aussie trucks um, with metal wheels that took off another car. And then KD couplers on both ends. Here you're looking at my Walters Trainline EMDF 40PH and CSX paint. Uh, it's number 9993. I got this probably two years ago, I want to say, for my birthday. Uh, I'm not, I don't model East Coast Railroad, but since I like F40PHs and I like this paint scheme, and it's currently around in this exactly like this, I um, I asked for it and I got it. It was from Train World and they had a clearance sale on it, so it was a pretty good deal. Uh, right here, this is something I moved. Um, yeah, right here is the horn. Uh, it was mounted right here, but I uh, I took it off. I drilled a small hole using my uh, my small pin vise drill. I drilled a small hole right here, just put some glue, glued it on. I think it looks better. That's prototypical for this locomotive. It's mounted right there in front of the radiator fan. Uh, this isn't the correct horn. The horn um, the, the current lo the locomotive currently has a K5LA, I believe. But uh, right here, it, um, right around here. Those steps were not, those were just the same color as the body. So I uh, used a yellow paint pen and painted those. It's not perfect, but it looks close enough, I think. I did on this and uh, back here in the handrail. I have uh, another deta uh, de um, detail set packet on order from Walther's. I mailed them and said, hey, I lost the parts to this. I need to get new ones, how can I? And the guy in the parts department was really helpful. He said, hey, give me your address and um, We'll send it off to you for free. That was really awesome of them. I'm still waiting for it, but it should be here any day now. Uh, yeah. So I need those two regular handrails, the only ones I knew where they were, except for one for the access door on the other side. Uh, the rear handrail I do have. It's off right now. I lost one of the end stanchions to it that can't because they were separate for some reason. 
Uh, I was painting it yellow and the paint just doesn't want to stick. So uh, I'm going to wash it off um, and see if that helps and then repaint it and also do a primer on it. Um, I'm not sure if I'll use that handrail or do the next one. Uh, so this, um, yeah, I used my pen vise to add those. So here's my uh, Walthus Lackawanna boxcar. Uh, it's an express boxcar converted from a troop sleeping car. Uh, this was lettered for Erie, uh, not Erie Lackawanna, just the Lackawanna Railroad. Uh, it was right there had lettering, and right there had the reporting marks DL and W. Um, I patched that out using acrylic paint. It's a pretty close match, but I still want it to look a bit like a patch, which is good because it doesn't quite match. But I use this as like a power tool car on my excursion to Vegas. Uh, it's a power and uh, tool car on my excursion and dinner trains. Yeah, so this works pretty well. The thing I was pointing out right here, if you can see, I added grab irons on both ends. And uh, right there. Still have this on the other end added, but uh, it's pretty much done. It looks pretty good. I just drilled the holes using the pin vise, glued them on, and painted them red to match the car. And it looks really nice, I think. So guys, the first thing I got is right here. It is a Concor 72-foot uh, observation car. This is painted the Burlington Northern Executive Train Scheme. Um, it is the NA number two. That, the reporting marks are the letter B, the letter N, the letter A. That was the reporting marks used for the uh, Burlington Northern Business Car Fleet. Uh, the prototype for this car it was the same number and just named Columbia River like this and was in this paint scheme. But it was a former Great Northern uh, business car so with the open end platform, kind of like a heavyweight observation car. But um, this one is not, it just has the standard um, rounded end. It looks pretty good though, I don't really mind, it was like 13 bucks used at my local train shop. I really like it, it came with knuckle couplers. I will replace this and make uh, put body mounted couplers. But right there's the Burlington Northern logo, which is really cool, and it's in gold. Columbia River, um, it does have the BN lettering right there, it's kind of hard to get it to show up on the camera. Yeah, it's a really nice car and I like it. So, uh, next right here, I won't be going into detail with this and, or the next two things because they're in the box and I don't have time to take them out. Is my Atherin SW1000. This is, uh, I've had it for about three months now, but I got a good deal on it. I got it for 76 bucks on clearance. This is the older release from 2011, I think. Uh, it's number 3644, BNSF Heritage 1 scheme. Uh, it is DCC ready. Um, yeah, these, it's basically identical with the current run, but I got it for around, I want to say almost $50 cheaper than retail of the current run. So, I got a pretty good deal. It, uh, I like the detail, it has full interior, uh, grab irons, knuckle couplers, directional lighting. Uh, if you've watched my series HO Scale Rail Fanning, you've seen it in a couple of episodes. The newest one and then the one right before that. So on to the next thing, um, this is just one of them. I didn't grab the other, uh, but this is a Concor Superliner lounge car in Amtrak Phase 4. Got this for my birthday two months ago, three months ago, back in May, yeah, because it's August. Um, yeah, I also got a sleeping car I purchased right before then. It's pretty nice, it's, it's relatively accurate. Uh, the trucks are not quite right, those are the same trucks they feature in all the cars. I'll swap it out with, uh, different trucks eventually if I could get the roof off but I also got a sleeping car which is in the same paint scheme I did I forgot to grab that but I will show that in the next video I think so right here is something you uh, you've probably seen in HL scale rail fanning also in, in my unboxing video I'll just show this super quickly my Atlas uh, extended vision BNSF caboose quite nice. Um, go check out the unboxing video from back in June or uh, July, I believe. I'll put, a, uh, I'll put a link in the description below. I'll also put an annotation and a card right here so you'll see it right now um, for that unboxing. Also, I'm starting a new channel, Aaron's Model Train Reviews. I'll put a link to that in the description below. Uh, I'll be doing model train reviews. I've only done one on this channel, so I figured start a whole new channel. Uh, the first video should be up by the second or third week of September. After that, I'm planning to review uh, just a couple of things. These are 
these, there's no guarantees I am reviewing these, but it is likely that I will. Uh, it's the Athern Amtrak P42 and the Phase 5 scheme from the next release, as well as the uh, Walther's Dairy Queen uh, DQ Grill and Chill Kit, which is out this month, but it depends when I end up getting it. That's not a big priority to get right now, but I will be reviewing that as well as this caboose. So stay tuned for that. Please go subscribe, and I will be posting a video eventually. Uh, yeah, so that's it for this video, guys. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if, as you feel needed. Um, another thing I wanted to mention, today is the uh, Wednesday, December, not December, why do I think it's December? It's Wednesday, August 26, 2015. Uh, tomorrow I am going to Portland, Oregon for the NMRA National Train Show. It will be really cool, I think. Um, yeah, so by the time you're watching this video, I'll probably be on my way to Portland. So, I will be posting on my Google Plus account, as well as multiple communities um, from Portland. I'll be going to the Oregon Rail Heritage Center, as well as the train show. And that should be pretty cool. Uh, if anyone's going, let me know in the comments and... I don't know. Um, see you guys there then. Um, as always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.